I jumped on Thingiverse and found a DIN mount that I liked, and I used OpenSCAD to sort of extend it to fit the linear regulators that I'll be mounting in the box. Uh, 3D printed four of those out. With all the parts printed for DIN mounting, I marked out where the DIN rail should go on the plate and remove the base plate from the cabinet so they can, can quickly mount stuff to it. With it removed, I worked out where the holes for the DIN rail go. Measured the DIN rail out, cut it, Shoddy work. Use the center punch just to make it easier to drill into the plate and then drill up the holes for the DIN rail. Oops. We'll need a different drill bit. Then it's just a matter of assembling the DIN rail onto the plate. I used M4 nuts and bolts with some washers in between. goes back in. Then we start putting the stuff back in. Kiwi SDRs first, bias T, linear regulators. And the terminal block. Measured up all the cables and crimped ends on them. Just makes it easier to get into the terminal blocks and screw terminals. I reconfigured all the voltage regulators. Then zip tied up all the cables. Before I plug the Kiwi SDRs in, I tested it with a resistor as a dummy load. Good to double check the voltages before plugging them in. And we have the Kiwi SDRs lighting up. That's good. And I can connect to the Kiwi SDR over the network, so that's really good. Regulators do get a little bit hot, about 50 degrees when I was testing here. I uh, decided to test with our temporary vertical antenna. And we can hear an SSB conversation. That's a good start. So finally I labelled all the cables. I also added a fan and a vent to keep the diodes and linear regulators a little bit cooler.